Colin, I'm also having a really busy day, although I'm not exactly having the adventure at college that you are. Basically what I've been doing today is I went to my sister's dance recital, and now I'm going to Laser Quest for my friend's birthday party because laser tag is a lot cooler than you think. Thank you, Barney Stinson. And the thing is, as I'm waiting for everyone else to get here and just walking around this area of Downers Grove, I'm just shocked by how nice it is and how the same it is. Because all of these areas, all these places, end up being the same eventually, and it's really kind of strange that all of them look the same. All of the stores look the same. There's an Office Max here, and it just reminds me of home in such a very close way that I'm not really sure exactly what to say about it beyond that. Colin, as I stand here and take in the graffiti on the dust of this closed game workshop that says pure class, and that Lily was here, and that Sam was here, I'm struck by how odd it is that we just leave places behind like this. For all this gorgeous area, a lot of it is also dead. It's very weird. Like, the weather is nice and the people are here, but this small little area is just seeing no one. No one but me and some of my friends who will be here. And it's very weird that there, we can be so close to civilization and then experience something so quiet and so abandoned. All of these locations just seem to deserve our attention, and they're not getting it. They're just ignored. And ironically, I find myself in a pet store. Funny how life works. And now we're on a train to see a show. Because that's what this day has become. <laughs> Constantly traveling places. In the silence, hiding in the empty streets, just as bad as me. It's a sick, sad shell of a marriage, but it's all. Colin, I'll see you tomorrow.